Hi hey guys, so this video session is primarily meant for those who missed our meeting uh, just last week, all right? Uh, I believe that those for those who have missed it should have already reviewed the meeting minutes um, as, uh, as summarized by me. Um, and then this video will, uh, will, will build on the ideas on top of what is in that meeting minutes, you know? Uh, it's just way too long for me to type it, and hence I'm just going to present it in video mode. So uh, let me just first share screen. Uh, yes, so uh, I just want to share um, the main change as with regards to the storyline slash uh, SROP. You know, originally we had one COO and then uh, he would assume the position of power once the CEO dies. But then we realized that if he consolidates that much power and he, he gets it for free, he, he, it's, just an un, un, it's just an unfair advantage for him especially. So um, I just want to, um, so how I, how I see it is that when the CEO dies, we immediately hold an emergency shareholder meeting, right? Then after that, in the SROP, we clearly state that um, that that um, Jeffrey uh, Abdul Jeffrey Zosman will be elected as acting CEO based on his credentials as the former uh, chairman and his close ties to the uh, to, to 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 the Saudi monarchy. So this builds confidence, at least, to stabilize investors' uh, confidence within the organization. That oh, hey, we have a former member coming back, you know to stabilize the situation. So, you know, we can play around with the idea of the agenda of uh, Abdul Jeffrey Zosman, Zos but uh, given the fact that he'll be acting, he'll be an acting uh, CEO, right? If, let's say, you know, I just want to bring up the, the idea of a uh, vote of no confidence here, right? Um, if, let's say, uh, he his um, a board member raises the motion, the notion for... Uh, 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 vote of no confidence on him. There will be a shareholder meeting held first, followed by, you know, um, so what happens? We consider options, all right? When CEO Zosman, uh, so the first option, CEO Zosman keeps his job. That's a good thing, all right? C Let's say if CEO Zosman loses his position as CEO, what happens next? So I thought of this idea of, uh, you know, suspending the voting rights of those who lose their vote of no confidence. So uh, they will still be able to carry out council duties. They will be able to carry out the roles and responsibilities in council, but uh, just that their voting rights will be suspended. Uh, they will, their vote will not count for perhaps just one council session. You know? And so um, I also come up with an, another idea on voting shares. You know, I want the voting shares to be equal amongst all board members, uh, internal, external, irregardless. The reason is to provide fairness to all members. Um, you know, uh, we want to build uh, a, a council that is a resolute, that is um, not that that you know will be that if if let's say Abdul Jeffrey Zosman has twenty percent and Pete Maverick has two percent. This will not do it because um, let's say uh, we want to, the council wants to vote on a business decision. Abdul Jeffrey Zosman can easily uh, override Pete Maverick's decision and Pete Maverick will basically be inconsequential to council. So for the, the interest of academic, for, 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 for academic purposes, for the, pur for, for the interest of fairness, for interest of implementation, in counting the votes also. We don't want to count them in fractional votes, right? So um, what I came out is that each member, uh, so let's say um, the board has 10 members, just, just take for say, just, just, just take my word, let's say, let's say, okay, the board has 10 members, right? 80% uh, of the vote goes to, will be split among this other nine members, one with this, uh, with this other nine members. The remaining one person is the CEO. The CEO will have more shares. We'll have this 20% of the vote, right? So this additional shares is served and meant to 
legitimize his position as CEO. Um, another idea that I brought out is possibly the idea of um, what do you call it? Veto. Yes. Um, but that will be a discussion for another day. I want to quickly jump into the, the changes in the portfolio as well. And um, but before that, I want to discuss an idea. So uh, when C when um, CEO Zosman loses his position as uh, sorry, Abdul Jeffrey Zosman loses his position as CEO, then after that, uh, what happens to his vote? His vote of that that CEO 20%, you know, will be transferred to the next person. You know, he will not be able to hold it. That's what we'll outline it in the SOR OP. Uh, hence, really, this CEO 20% is to legitimize his position. Uh, the next uh, change that I want to share is, um, you know, obviously the um, revised portfolio uh, matrix. You know, I want them to have more internal members. I want them to have a bit more, you know, uh, uh, segregation between the departments, you know, is to naturally build up this uh, an environment uh, this 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 competition between departments instead of twenty people vying for one seat, we have maybe five people vying for that seat, and it really builds them and uh, it really segregates them into their natural their, their blocks. So, uh, here we have we have uh, four departments, you know, uh, vying for that seat, um, and then uh, I know some people uh, there's there's some uproar of what CEOs do. Yeah, so um, the only thing. That will outla um sorry the only thing that will happen is that the CHRM will not be able to run for CEO position, uh, because uh, if he leaves the position of CHRM, no one will be able to take over him, right? So, um, and when that, uh, so 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 what we'll do is that we'll create like a, some sort of a scandal that uh, maybe Zosman has. Uh, gathered evidence of sexual misconduct or allegations or perhaps corruption of the CHRM, and hence he will not be able to run for uh, the for CEO. Uh, so yeah, that's and and also we also added uh, another member over here, a, a guy from the workers union, uh, as brought up by Ramirez, and also uh, you know removed some of the members who are not of too much relevance. So I hope that um, that um, this recording will be able to uh, clarify certain doubts and will be able to keep the other members who were not present for the previous meeting informed of the recent changes. Yeah, so, so thank you so much for listening to this.